If you've watched hundreds of Vancouver videos like me, then you might have noticed that one of the least displayed places in all of the camper van is the side door. And that's because the side door comes with all sorts of limits, such as the space that you have to actually use it. We just finished up our back doors and unfortunately we have to take a completely different approach to the side door because it's going to be getting wet up here all of the time, especially when it's raining you get water droplets. We can't use fabric because the fabric would mold and it would seep into the plywood. This thing is insane. We need to come up with some sort of storage here, sort out the material, and we need to sort out how we're gonna deal with the inevitable condensation that will come down on this window. This drainage system is so simple, I've never seen it anywhere else. That space is useless, it will be covered by a unit, and we need to maximize our storage down here, especially with our Thunderbolt. This side door is like an opportune spot to use, especially if you're sitting here all the time. These units, that was a really smart idea how to utilize this space because we have hygiene things, courts. It helps so much to save that space that these things would be sitting somewhere else. We know that we need to make the most of it. The only problem is Lottie's gonna have to be doing almost all of it alone. Oh yes, this is a difficult one. So many decisions to make, like the handle, like the pockets and the shape and labeling them or not, otherwise it's a mess. Then how the blind is gonna go? Is it gonna be in a rail? How we're gonna attach the thunderbolt? How we're gonna insulate it? What material are we gonna use? How are we gonna look? I think this is a great concept to go for because we have the same pockets we used before. These are amazing. This time with labels, because I remember last time I had difficulties to remember what is where. And then they have dividers, they're modular, replaceable, tweakable. Handle, that needs to be closing well, I remember, it's difficult to close the door. I'm still working on a concept of slide up curtain, but we'll talk about that later in this video. One sometimes need to take a step back in order to make two steps forward. I decided to go with plywood because it's just easy to shape, easy to cut, easy to glue to. Once I have the cardboard template, it's so easy to just transfer the file to a plywood, do all the cutouts, shape everything, sand everything, make sure there are no sharp edges. I like that because I don't want to be wasting material, it's just easier to cut with scissors. Unlike the back doors, I'm making the side door from three pieces to just save on material because the window would be a big cutout. Well, that was the easy part. Now we go to the difficult one and that's these curves. I just feel like it looks so much better in a van and on a boat. This is a veneer. It's a thin layer of wood cut with a really big and precise machine. Just that's useful. Plywoods, look at them. You combine them, cross multiple layers and you have your strong overall great lightweight material. Plywood. So I'm gonna make my own plywood. Make something to bend around, put a glue in between, tie it for a few hours, and bang, curve in the van. I absolutely love making curved things. I love making curved furniture. 
I really enjoy it because I think these are cool tricks, cool techniques I learned as a cabinet maker. When I joined Cornell in Vancouver, there was a lot of fun because we worked on a really cool high-end curved furniture. And then the same principles that you can just take veneers, glue them together along any shape, is just every opportunity I have, I jump for it. Ah, this look okay. This one I was kind of lazy, didn't put a layer of paper between the mold and the veneer itself. Bit of ascending there, bit of ascending there too, trimming them. And hey, corners alive, they're alive! I can easily say this is one of the more difficult projects I've ever worked in my life. I'm trying to wing it as I go, but I'm struggling. <laughs> it's a lot of difficulties with these curves. I have a line here as, as a reference and I left it 7 millimeters below the black line that is on the window. The 7 millimeters essentially gives me some kind of a tolerance because I'm not expecting to be exactly on line. Well, in this case I guess I am. Anyways, it's a difficult one. Oops. Sorry. That was not supposed to be on your back. But, oh, I see you have a body cleaning it already. That's great. Hey, if diesel is becoming too expensive for you and you want to be electric and save some money, Cyberbike might be a real serious consideration. If you want to see how you can build one like this, check out our website mysuperebike.com. It's time to glue all the four pieces together to make one panel. I only have as many clamps and I'm gluing in a 40 minute intervals. Then I'm making a thicker frame around all the cutouts. What I essentially made here is the whole structural part of the panel. That means double the thickness around the window so I can be attaching material to, double the thickness around the cutouts for the 3D print so I can be screwing to, and all around I glued extra so I have a thickness so it doesn't warp, doesn't bend. Raining storm, that's good to be covered. Voila, corners installed. While I'm waiting for the glue to cure, I can pay some attention to the micro project on the door. I'm really excited about this one because I've never seen it done.
Condensation is inevitable in a van, right? So when talking with Margaret about how we are gonna approach this door, what do we expect from it? I was like, hmm, I'm curious how to take care of a condensation once forever. I have a C channel that is aluminum and I 3D printed converter converting that C channel with a little hose. So now I can be running along the whole window C channel, water runs down, gets trapped in a C channel and then runs with the gravity through the hose, a little hole in a car, through the door, below the car, dripping out. <laughs> And then once you go under the side door, you can see right here, this one right here. This is the detail. That's the drain hole that goes from the side door for any potential condensation on the metal so it doesn't get stuck in there. So that's my goal, to get the water out from there. Yesterday I finished this, what was it, 9.30 p.m. This drainage system is so simple, I've never seen it anywhere else because I'm suspicious that nobody thinks about it that much. But that's how we like doing things here on Ladi and Margaret's channel. Over the top, like when you let your imagination go free, then you can unleash your Full creative potential. Potential. We don't want to see any sharp edges around and nothing metal exposed. I can't believe this actually was as easy as stacking pliers and pushing the hose hard in that 3D print. I have a theory that all of these over-engineering details are only worth it if you can execute them fast. Two hours for this detail, worth it. Keep in mind, this is not like collecting rainwater from the roof. This is just a few drops, maybe in the morning or maybe late afternoon when you're heating up the van and it's really big difference. Temperature outside, inside. At the end of each prototype, it's time for a test. There's always this particular joy of working with the traditional tools. completely not been helpful on this new side door. I had found like $500 round trip tickets to the States and I just had to do it. So I was with my dad for a long weekend. Morning. Morning, buddy. Come to take a look at what I created for you. That is crazy smooth. He rounded the edges. Yeah, I rounded the edges. <laughs> Everything is now sanded the floor. All the holes fit. 
This I'm sampling now, the 3D print. And it's pretty one of a kind panel. This thing is insane. <laughs> it looks so complex. I mean, it is so complex, it is. but. There's a lot of things. Have you fit it in? Oh my God. Like a glove. Ooh, like a glove. Well, this still needs to be cut out. That's what I'm doing next. Well, we kind of changed plans with the curtain idea, so you know what? Another pocket right here. Yes! going with a color that is much lighter and glossy and will be reflecting the light. Oh, last minute decision. <laughs> Sorting out the curtain idea we had won't work. So yeah, let's just utilize this. We're being tortured by how to cover this creatively. How smooth this is. This is amazing. This is second layer of primer, essentially. First layer looked like plywood, just copied the layers of wood sanded it off flat, second coat of primer, sanded it off beautifully flat, and now it's time to do glossy paint. Spraying the gloss paint straight on the ply would, would show all the grain, and I wanted to have a perfectly smooth surface for gloss. And now, what we have all been waiting for, a not ugly panel. How are you going to make the panel not so ugly? We're going to paint it. Is there any particular reason why you're choosing this color? Yeah, it's going to bounce back some of the light in a high traffic area and we really like it. That looks like off milk. I love that. I'm happy that within the van itself, we're not gonna do any other panels like this that are just glossy and smooth. Most everything else will be fabric, which is so much faster. Ready. <laughs> Let's see it on a daily light. Let's see here to help. I really do hope the second layer is the last one. I don't like cleaning the spray gun. Really satisfying. This is pretty amazing that we are only going inside of the door versus this one that goes so far out. And look how much space we have. <laughs> I'm the happiest we decided last moment to add this second pocket because I was pretty bummed I can't fit my notes in the bottom one. <laughs> All the hard work now comes together and finally the imagination takes a physical shape and it's always very satisfying and victorious feeling, I would say. Notice on your van, after rain, when you open up the side door, all the water always sits on the seal and goes straight on the side door. So this should prevent from actually going behind the panel. We hate it. We hate these gray screws. We tried something different because it was a lighter panel. No, so we need to start out what we're gonna do. That gray paint really didn't make it far. We're spraying it black right away because that looks awful. Don't like it. It just cheapens, it cheapens the whole thing much more than I thought it would. There's no more gray, everything is black. 
so much better immediately. Mm. And, 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 no collision. <laughs>The channel will be so, so good for condensation. We won't have to worry about it at all. It just goes away. All the seal, I feel like, finished it off and connected the panel with the door beautifully. And this kind of feels kind of nice for a little beverage and I have spill insurance. So if I spill it, it goes outside. These are really cool because I can store my notes. This is for candies, maybe, purposely lower, so you don't consider eating them too often. And here's the Thunderbolt Lodge. That works well too. As far away from the window as it can be. Yeah. Lottie did all of this completely alone. I was not here to help with the construction or anything, so please give him a big thank you in the comments. These types of curves, this type of cutout, is so artistic, it's, it's art. I'm still getting used to this. I don't know if I'm too stuck in my ways with color, but this is so bright that I know in context when everything around is darker gray or other shades of gray, it will make sense. But I'm adjusting, I'm adjusting to white. Thank you everybody very much who made it all the way to the end. Normally, I'm not sure if I would be messing with these curves and extra insulation and all of that, but because I know you guys like it and you guys encourage me in the comments, we are always aiming a little bit further. People will tell us that we're inspiring, but frankly, we are getting inspired because of all the feedback. We wanna keep stepping it up. We wanna keep trying as hard as we can and making this thing the best we can. It just makes sense now with an audience like you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hopefully we'll see you in the next one.